What is a power amplifier? Now, many of you know what it is, but how many of you actually understand what's inside of a power amplifier? And I wanted to be able to explain some very simple things in a few of these videos. Many of you already get it, so you can just move on. But those of you who are kind of wondering, what the heck is it? Let me give you a brief explanation of a power amplifier. Here are power amplifiers. Here's the left one, and here is the right one. These are what's called monoblock power amplifiers. Now, these suckers are big, right? This one is a, a power plant AC regenerator, but imagine that this is in is a stereo power amplifier. So inside these big chassis, you could have a, a mono, which means one channel, or a stereo, which of course means two channels. So those are power amplifiers. All right. A power amplifier basically takes the signal out of a preamplifier or out of a source. Let's say you have a CD player and you took the output of a CD player and you plugged its RCA cables directly into this box right? You just <laughs> plugged it right in and you hit play on a CD. Well, that is going to come out pretty loud because you don't have a preamp. Because remember, a preamp turns down the volume, turns up the volume. But let's just take it simple as we can. Take a CD player, plug it into here. Music is going to come out. So what's coming out of the CD player is about two volts of audio signal. Now, this is a, a voltage moving up and down, up and down. It's about two volts worth. In order to drive these speakers, we need a lot more voltage, more like 30, 40 volts, okay? So, inside of a power amplifier, we have two stages. One is the voltage gain stage, which is like a big preamp, and the second is a current gain stage. The voltage gain stage is the first step, and it takes that signal out of the CD player, that two volts maximum, and it jacks it up times 10 or 20 or 30 times greater. It's around, it's about 30, a little less than 30 times. So you put one volt in, you get 30 volts out, okay? Now that voltage that comes out which is eventually going to move these speakers back and forth and pressurize the air so we hear it, that voltage needs some kind of grunt power, though, to make these speakers move air. And that grunt power comes from what we call the current gain stage. And a current gain stage takes a voltage in and puts the identical voltage out. So if you put 30 volts in to the current stage, you get 30 volts out. The difference is when you take that voltage and you put it into the motor, that's what we call the big magnet thing that moves the speaker's driver, that takes power. So think of it in a car analogy. The motor spins up to so many RPMs, but as soon as you engage the rear wheels through the transmission, if that engine doesn't have enough horsepower, doesn't have enough current or watts to, to keep spinning at that same speed, the car goes, right? The reason that if you rev your car up, you pop the clutch like us old guys used to do, you get there and the car takes off. That's because that spinning engine has enough power, enough horsepower behind it to keep it spinning when the load comes on and that load being the rear wheels. Well, this load on here, which we express in terms of ohms, four ohm load, eight ohm load, the lower that number, the greater power is needed to move that load um, is what keeps all of this running. So the input voltage stage of our power amp jacks up the voltage, gets our RPMs going. The output stage moves the motors of the loudspeaker and provides what we refer to in terms of wattage. So that 
is a brief explanation of a power amplifier. Okay? Hope that helped. Thanks.